Yes. Another day, another one shot, one kill. It was boring. Oh, hey. You see, you're awake. Yeah. Wait, what happened to the slowest villain? Oh, I beat him. Wait, how? I punched him. No, I mean, wh wait, what's your quirk? Uh, uh, well, for one, I'm very nonchalant. I'm very bored because there is no one who can truly give me a challenging fight anymore. And no, I mean your power. Like, no, I'm strong. Wait, but, but that counts as a quirk. No. Yes, Zuku does. That's a first thing you say about such a villain. He does it in version. Okay. Here's what a quirk is. Such I'm of hearing that, like, oh, I don't have a quirk. Then, I mean, I'm weird, and at least some people say I am. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't have a quirk. Or these weird powers that you say are quirks. I'm just very strong. Was that a quirk? How are you? I trained. A lot. Do you think you... Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. No. Well, I didn't even... You were going to ask if I could train you, weren't you? Y yes. I already have one disciple. I don't need another one. Wait a minute, what's that in your hand? Huh? Oh, this this is a two for one on beef and pork coupon. When does it expire? Um, two months from now? Um, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Is Zoo about to leave after thinking Saitama? Is like, Wait a minute. You said you wanted me to train you, right? Yeah, but you just said... Forget what I said. This is what I'm saying now. Um, you can just give me that uh, coupon, and I can possibly train you, or at least give you the same training regimen that I undertook. And, you know, I could supervise your training for... Like, wait, how long is that... How long until that coupon expires? Two months? Two months! At least get you trained for two months! Uh, like, are you sure? Like, oh yeah, of course, of course. I ain't got nothing else to really do. So, <laughs> sure! Uh, thank you. But, there's a catch. Okay. If you can't handle the training, if you give up, all bets are off. Not to mention you're going to make a drastic sacrifice. What? Your hair. What? Yeah. You're going to lose every strand of hair. On your head. R really? There's a price for power. Are you willing to pay that price? Well, I... 
Yes. What? Yes. How old are you? Fourteen. Hey, you're willing to give up your hair? Yeah. I... I don't know what to say. All right, you'll see how long you can keep that attitude. Maybe we start. Mm. We can start tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to need that coupon, though. He was taking it and running off. Izuku was like, wait, he didn't tell me where to meet up tomorrow. Izuku just going home was like, well, I'm out of a coupon. Him relaying everything to Ego was pretty much... Seriously? Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. Hmm. Well... At least it only cost you a coupon. I mean, just this person just up and left without telling you anything. But it could have been worse. <sighs> yeah, but I really wish he could have trained me. Oh well. No need to cry about it now. Really, at least it would have been nice to get at least. Two months of training before the UI issues exam. Well, I uh, guess you can actually, you can attempt to train on your own. Who says you need his specific type of training? Hmm. No, well, that's a good idea, Mom. I wish you had told me this while I was four years old. <clears throat> right. Go so ahead, uh, get a good night's sleep, and you can start your training. Zuku so does. The only thing is, when he does leave, he has the whole ensemble, the whole jogging pants, sweatshirt, all that. The only thing is, like, all right, I'm gone. Him opening the door and seeing Saitama. Hey. 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 I. 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 I what are you doing here? <laughs> I told you, we were training today. So I came to pick you up. How did you. Oh, is that obvious? No. Well, don't worry about it. Anyway, let's go. Them arriving, and of course, they get a beach in which Satama did clean up a fair amount of it, just not so much that Izuku wouldn't have to. It's when he learns that his training is the whole hundred. He's like, You're kidding. Nope. So, I'm gonna do this. Every single day for two months. I I don't know if I well if you can't do it. I mean I'll write you the coupon so no refunds. Okay. Good, so you give up? No. What? Just heard what I told you that you have to do, right? Yeah. You heard about the consequences of this power, right? Uh huh. Okay. Let's see how far your determination goes. Izuku, of course, does terrible. He just barely he's able to finish the whole exercise routine before a day is over. Luckily, Shatama was nice enough. So he does get to go home without much bruising. <sighs> but Inko is also very terrified, wondering what happened to her son. So I don't want to just say, he did great. He only threw it up like, let's say, five, ten times. 
What? What are you? They're all just regular exercises. It's just the repetitions that really got him. It, is he going to be? It depends on his determination and his willpower. That's all I can say. Anyway, one day down. Oh, this is going to be interesting to witness. Yeah. This, this is going to be very nice. So as I'm on leaving, Inko carrying Izuku to his room. And that was the first day. As the days turn into weeks, Izuku has gotten much more built. More like Sasuke's build, which he's not overly muscular, but he's not overly skinny. Luckily, he doesn't really struggle as much as he did before, being able to at least accomplish 20 to 30 push ups easily before he actually feels more fatigue. Once the first month is over, Izuku starts to really feel the whole tension when it comes to. Yep, you only have one month left of training with me before I hide to it out of here. Izuku saying that, mm, okay. The coupons worked the first time. I got some time before the entrance exam. Hmm. Let me find some more coupons and see if that works for him. So while Izuku doesn't train, he scours for coupons that at least give him more time to train with Saitama to the point where he finds just enough. He doesn't know how strong Saitama really is, but at the very least this will make it so he doesn't have to worry about being dead weight or Embarrassingly failing the entrance exam. Saitama? Of course. He is more than surprised that Izuku is this determined. He doesn't even throw up any, as much anymore. But. And Saitama starts wondering. Wait. Your hair. Hmm? Yeah, what about it? You still have it. Uh huh. Why is that a bad thing? Why do you still have your hair? What do you mean? I told you the consequences. Oh. Oh, wait, you were serious? Yes. Yes, it was. I, I thought you were joking, considering I noticed no change to my hair. Are you saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this, can't, this can't be true. There's got to be some backlash from containing... Even a smidgen of the power that I have. Come on. Don't you at least feel like your hair is thinning out or? No. No. So, no real downsides? Mm, not that I noticed. Huh. Interesting. That, that, that makes. That, that's. Impressive. <laughs> As in Titan's mind, he's like, "Damn it! Why me? Why was he get to keep his beer while well, I had to lose it all? What was that fair to me? I <clears throat> there's got to be an explanation for this." Okay, so you say, explain yourself. How come your hair is still intact? Not even a patch of it is missing off that hair of yours. Um, 
Maybe because I have a good teacher. Bullshit. Excuse me. You heard me. I'll call bullshit. There's no way in hell that you... All I'm doing is giving you the same damn concise I did. Something that took away I are still fine. Now explain to me. What have you been doing? Again, he just says the whole regiment. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. This can't be true. Wait, um, unless. No. You're 14, right? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm going to do that might work. What? You see, well, I started this training before I became as strong as I am now. Then I was, I was a full-grown adult. Oh, okay. Well, what's that got to do with you? Are still a child or a teenager? You still have time to develop into your own. All right. So, just you, you're not getting me. You. Haven't fully adjusted to everything yet. It's more like your body is adapting to this, while mine, while I was slightly younger than I am now, my body had to readapt. Which made it too difficult for my hair to... Wait. Hmm. Could it be that my hair follicles can't burst through because of how powerful my scalp is now? What? Think about it! So I don't think you can help me. I mean, I think one of the best fights I ever had was when, eh, was when I killed that crab monster. But then again, after that, everything was just trash. Except for that one guy who apparently had to hold himself back or whatever hmm, during a damn alien invasion. Sorry, what? Ah, oh, never mind it. Either way, chances are, if I wasn't so damn strong, I probably would have had my hair. Granted. Hmm. Actually. Uh, um, Mr. Saitama, why are you looking at me like that? Where'd you get those scissors? Sorry, but this has to be done. But what? I have to test my theory. Well, you, you're gonna... How are you gonna do that? Sorry, Zuko. That hair's gotta go. The master, no, don't. Don't fight me on this. It'll be over soon. And Izuku tries to run away, which he has got an hell of a boost. But he's still no match for Saitama's speed as well as strength. And yes, Izuku's hair is completely been shaved and clipped off of him. He's there on his head. 
Zuku feeling hurt, but also for a good reason. For a good reason. He just needs to test a theory. Oh, really? Is that time I just wants to be petty? He's just jealous of Izuku's hair. And with that, the second month is over. Basically, Izuku kept collecting so many coupons to keep Satama around. Luckily, he does end up getting at least strong enough. So, mm, Bakugo's explosions wouldn't lay a scratch on him. The thing is, people have seen him exercise, but it's like, uh, it's just simple exercise. Was a, you can't, how strong can you really get from that? Bakugo wanted to be an asshole, but it's also just, yeah, it's no big deal. He's no way in hell going to be able to go to UA without Quirk. So it's time to move. Of course. Being the most chill, yet also least hands-on coach. He just tells Izuku just to keep on with his exercises. Well, he does notice that Izuku's hair does grow back, which just adds on to his anger and jealousy. If I knew being here would be so much fun, I probably would have started younger too. Then again, him just wondering, he's like, wait a minute, if I'd done that, I would have been bored out of my mind. Let me think. There's no real point for this kid to continue if he keeps up with this. Wait. I could actually. Hey, Izuku. You know how. You give me coupons and I train you. Yes. Well, how about you don't have to do that anymore? Wait, what? Okay, I won't be honest. <sighs> I'm not really training you. Of course, I'm, I'm not really training you. I'm just pushing you into having a bunch of exercise and in hopes that you just keep on giving me things I want. Oh, I don't know. What? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty obvious. Uh-huh. Think of it like this. All you really have done is told me just to do some exercises. Heck, if I knew that these were the repetitions and this is how you really got your strength, like I do now, I probably would just not need to give you the coupons anyway. What? What? Where'd you find this out? Mm. I say. Uh, the first month. What? But you you were trying so hard to get me coupons. True, but you just seemed bored. Oh. But so what's what's the reason why you you bothered having me around then? Well, if anything you also, uh, you told me how you really wanted to be a hero after you saved a kid that had a, what is it called, a butt chin? Yeah. 
I don't know what the hell that was about, but still, yes. And then you train so hard that you can't even enjoy a fight anymore. Like you deal with that crab monster just because you overdid it and it's too strong. Yeah. I have no idea what I was thinking. Well, I decided to keep you around. Have you oversee my training just so when yeah. Our time is over. Maybe we could spar. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, yeah you know what? Yeah, it, it's, it was a stupid uh, decision. I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, my boy, you have piqued my interest. So what? So the sparring. You're saying, well, um, I'm obviously not as strong as you are now, but I think as such a much punch as you could win regular normal punch, you goes flying into a boulder and cracks it in half. That don't. Is of course shitting bricks right now because oh my god, I just killed my disciple. His mom is going to kill me. I am going to prison. But then again, they do get three or whatever you know, a day, don't they? Hmm. I'm out of And that's stung. But wait, 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 wait a minute! You're still alive? Yes. How? Well, I um, I trained a lot. <laughs> well, I I'm uh, I'm very impressed. You're still alive. Thank you. Wait, that means my normal punches don't affect you? Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Is it inside out? There's another one, but Izuku catches it. Like, please don't try to hit me again. Why not? My normal punches, they do nothing to you. This is the greatest thing ever. He was starting to unleash more and more punches, making them faster and faster as Izuku was just constantly dodging, catching, blocking. Is Master, please stop. I I still am not at your level yet. Oh, yes, I know. But it's so happy to find something that I can't break. Okay, I think I made a huge mistake. No, you did not. He's getting socked in the face, but he spins in such a way he hicks Saitama down to the sand, burying him. Of course, Izuku is very apologetic, but as soon as Saitama just digs himself out of his freshly made grave, he's pretty much like, You have no idea how much I really want to punch someone more than just once. Normal punches, they do nothing to you. That means I can turn up the heat. <laughs> well, that's a side time. I'm happy that you're happy, but the thing is, I am still not at your level. So if you get it too serious, I'm afraid you will kill me. Oh, oh that's actually a good point, huh? Mm. Let's see. I guess if I can't really fight you here. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess you're just going to train until you are on my level. 
Man, this could take forever. But so I was just thinking for the pure fact that someone will be able to actually fight with him. A real holes, no bars fight and not die. It'll be like Christmas and his birthday it's together. Bring over with a little Halloween candy. This is too good. She has to pass out. All right. Forget the coupons. I will stay. Overseer training and everything. Yes. And as soon as you feel like you are strong enough to take me on, boy, I expect you to bring the heat. And I shall bring it in return. Show me no mercy. I won't show any either. Please. You have no idea. I need this. I need it to deliver these hands to somebody without them dying after the first punch. Ugh. Then again, Speed of Sonic, he technically didn't. Die, but yeah. generations of his offspring sure as hell did. <laughs> oh man, I I cannot apologize enough to that poor man. I I really screwed him over there, didn't I? Who? No, it's just it's just this ninja wannabe. And I think yeah, he was yeah. I guess compared to others, he is kind of fast. Mm. Oh, wait, what, what do you mean you killed generations? Do you really want to hear the story? I don't know, maybe. Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Oh, brief history lesson later. Ezekiel was clutching his jewels. They, you did that to him? In my defense, I didn't mean to do that. My fist was up, and he was right over it. It is not my fault he was dumb enough, or at the very least, clumsy enough. Don't I don't think he's the one that fall here. You, you just probably mind you your business or something. Okay, you're probably right, but still, it's not completely my fault. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Great. Good. Good. Why are you still clutching? Because I don't want to accidentally landing on your fist. Clever, clever comeback boy. Very well. Get back to training. By a fifth month mark, Ziku can easily form all his exercises to the point where Saitama is wondering, huh, can this even be counted as training? Because it's, if anything, it's just normal for him now. Hmm. I can tell he doesn't even even have that much body fat left. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I really do wonder. Can he truly be the one I can throw hands with without worrying of breaking him? Yeah. I have faith in the boy. All he's doing is still training. This is when he runs in to someone he didn't expect. Let alone even know. This is when he runs into the one named Muscular. But as he's looking down, he sees that there are two bodies under his feet. Wondering what the hell is happening. He's... Hey! 
<sighs> Look here, what we have. It's a little, uh, it's a bystander. Who are you? People call me muscular. I can't guess why. Does that have anything to do with your quirk? Yes, it does. Hmm. Is that an enhancement type? Yes, it is. Huh. Interesting. So, boy, since you are... You seem like a sweet kid, so I'll give you a choice. How do you want to die? Before you can answer, of course, Muscular is quick to jump. But my problem is when he punches Zuku, it does nothing. By his pure shock and horror in his face, he's wondering what. How old are you? 14. Boom! <clears throat> Either way. Um, how come my punch didn't affect you? What? What do you mean? That punch should have killed you. You're, you're a middle school student, aren't you? How'd you guess? Yeah, your build. It just screams child. <sighs> well, sorry, but I have a job to do. And I can't leave any witnesses. Just then, yeah, Ko's parents show up, ready to apprehend the villain. Thing is, Muscular's, he's kind of in a tight spot. He just ran into someone who his punches does not affect. At least him as a normal person. But now two pro heroes are here. So he has no choice but to really let loose. Well, yes, it does overwhelm his parents. Izuku is more or less... Huh. Interesting quirk. Muscular, of course, is wondering... Why aren't you scared? Why aren't you dodging my attacks? Izuku... Being nonchalant, but also trying not to be, sound like a real ass? Well... It is. I'm sorry to say this, but this your punches aren't worth uh, blocking or dodging. What? Yeah. You happy with I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, because instead of giving you a quick death like I wanted, now you're going to feel the most painful experience I can muster. Death will be your only mercy and salvation. So I suggest you get ready for it. This is when Muscular does take out not only Trigger, but also an attachment that can boost his quirk. And once he really utilizes it the best of his abilities, Izuku just thinks, huh, neat. And just as the muscular does swing, Izuku, of course, backhands him. Seeing that muscular is nowhere near as strong as him, Izuku starts to really sympathize with Saitama. Like, Wow, so this is what he's been going through? Yikes, I cannot imagine being that bored. Hmm. Then Muscular stands back up. Lucky shot. I see he unleashes a flurry, a barrage of punches. What we think is Izuku is either dodging, catching, or... Eh. Letting them land. Uh, yeah, these things are doing a thing on him. He's thinking, okay, maybe I should get out of here while the getting's good. For all my or some other pro heroes show up. 
but still thinking about Izuku on his mind, wondering, who was that kid? But that is when he notices an eerie fury feeling uh, behind him. He turns his head just to see Izuku's dark expression. I found you. It is nothing but ultimate fear. Pierce with Muscular's heart. As Izuku drags him back to the heroes. Once they do ask him, like, okay, what happened? He's quick to tell them the truth because, you know, there's no real point to lie. Besides, he will probably get in more trouble by lying. They, of course, do not believe him. This is when Muscular wakes up and screams, Keep him away from me. Take me to prison. I don't care. Just keep me away from that monster. Then looking at him like, what? Izuku just having an innocent smile. I tried to warn you. Mm, indeed. So, this villain is terrified of this young man. Wow, we have missed the cerebral amount, didn't we? Izuku, as far as more training goes, he feels as though wait, it's kind of pointless now. Hmm, wait a minute. I mean, I backhanded somebody and he was unconscious for a good bit. You killed him? No. I just controlled my strength a little bit and uh, kind of sucks considering uh, uh, I don't understand this feeling. It's just whenever there is a someone uh, who can wait a minute. Them looking yes. So sorry, I was just wondering, is this, this is really how you feel, right? Yes. Agony. No. Having someone to fight, and then it not being a one shot, one kill, it is very frustrating. But you were lucky; you didn't kill the poor man. Hmm. I assume you have, yeah, you have a good point. <sighs> Hmm, I need to keep a close eye on this one. Hmm. Oh. At the end of the day, it is time for the answer's exam. Is it good? He's not nervous, per se. He's just more anxious. He's ready to show off how much power he's gained. Though he does see Bakugo, Bakugo does threaten him, but Izuku stands his ground, which annoys said Bakugo. He doesn't know where he's got his confidence from, but one of the things for certain is that I am not losing to you. The miracle. Izuku doesn't ace it. He at least presses with a B. Not the worst score, but not the best. When it comes to the practical, Izuku is more than ready to really dispense with the poor future scrap metal that's about to grace their uh, visions. But there's one problem. Izuku is already gone. Uh -huh. And by the time anyone does reach the damn arena, the city that they build just for this test, 
They are shocked to see that there is nothing but a pile of scrap metal. Of course, Izuku is thrilled to have this power, but also, wow, I'm bored. There's literally nothing else for me to fight. Man, I should. Ugh. Luckily, I still have my hair, but wow. Literally, there's. N These robots were basically scrap paper for me. Ugh. Master Saito, I have a new fond respect for you. And that's saying something. And now we get to the observation room with all the teachers and Nezu. And he, yeah, everyone's wondering what did they just watch? Because every single robot has been decimated. And these are the ones unlucky enough to be in Izuku's way. This is when Principal Nezu switch. Oh man, Power Loader is going to be very upset. Oh, yeah, no kidding. What else is new? It's like, no, 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 for what I have to do. What? What? Oh, yes. I cannot flip this slide. What, what are you going to do? Unleash the zero pointers. But, but. There's so many. Oh no! Don't worry. We we have a zero point for at least for each zone. <laughs> no, I'm talking about zero point triggers for him. Point Shreya Izuku. What? Nezu, are are you are you saying you are going to willingly? It's already done. Seeing that his finger is already on the big red button. As soon as Izuku notices the massive robots, and also that there's no points, so it feels like someone's targeting me. But his determination shines through, and he goes ham on these poor, poor. Poor unfortunate robots. Nezu, of course, is shocked at this. Or, oh my, do you know that kid? It's like, no. <laughs> no, I do not. Are you sure? He seems like he would be. No. I did not pick that kid. <laughs> you know, for some reason, he's just abnormally strong. Hmm. Yes. Quite interesting. Then again, he is classified as corkless. Huh? Excuse me? Oh, my, just like, what do you mean he's corkless? He's ripping through each robot like his scrap paper. The amount of gears and motor oil is scattered around the battlefield. It's ridiculous. I, 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 I know. I, I can't believe it either. Who would have thought Corcus kid would be this powerful? It's just what can you really say about this thing? Besides, well, looks like the hero era of about to come to an end. Is there a way for someone to say time's up? You know, he collected more than the points. He just walks off, ignoring poor, poor recovery girl, who feels like, huh, oh, looks like I just missed a golden opportunity to test. Hmm. He's a good. Though he does have more nonchalance, he does show all the love and respect to his mom. 
But he is very concerned about the fact that, yeah, now I got this crazy power. What do I do with it? I don't want to just knock out his windows. Like, you become a hero. How would you? We have great, I mean, great senses of smell, as well as hearing. Oh, yeah, it goes really handy. Though, yes, you are incredibly powerful. It is also very, very, very long at the top. Hmm. Yeah, I I understand. You do? Great. Here. So, about that sparring session you promised me. Mm, yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, a deal's a deal. I knew I liked you, boy. <sighs> Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. This is going to be so much fun. But Yuzuku does have a condition that they can't fight anywhere where it's populated. Of course, the time was like, oh, no big deal. Yeah, let's just go back to the beach you cleaned up. Really? Oh, yes. No one should disturb us there. Mm, just come on. Unless you want to break your promise. That's not very hero like, of course. I understand. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I can. We can do the sparring thing. I do have time before the results come in anyway, so shouldn't be much of a problem. Sat down with a big ass grin. <sighs> I knew you were a stand up guy. Now, if you don't mind, let's go. I am really itching for this fight. I've been looking forward to it for months. <sighs> So soon, so close. What's the fight starts? Of course, Izuku gets a hella upset, but uh, you say Saito was a, a bit fidgety. This is what he's been waiting for. He really needs this fight. To last more than just one punch. Izuku is rushing towards him. Saitama is too slow. Just for Izuku to disappear. And backhand him. Same him flying through God knows how much sand. You were just exceeding my expectations so far. Thank you. So, it's time to... Sorry, kid, this is gonna hurt. As then Saitama runs up behind Izuku and screams in his ear. Of course, Izuku is very confused, wondering why did you do that, and what did you do to me? Oh, I think this is gonna hurt a lot. You already said that. Oh, well, if anything, my superiors want to make sure they you know, do our little idol here any injustice. What do you mean? You're too popular. Yep. This. Yep. Now, we lost mind. 
Let us begin and continue with this legendary battle. You must really want to fight me. I told you, I need this. I need to fight someone who won't break. And you just so had to arrive. Mm, never mind. So you want to continue? Oh, yes, I do. This fight has got my blood flowing. It's about my whole body, and I just can't leave. Not yet. I got to feel this itch. And you are going to help me. Okay. Good lad. Now, first things first. You are going to. You're going to fight each and every one of my, you know, after images. What? Oh, yes. You see, I didn't want to do it. But then. Mm, I just thought, yeah, you'll survive. I have faith in you. When you say I'm going to be fighting your after images, because then Saitama starts multiplying. He's a good wondering how is this happening, but then he thinks, oh, wait, Mr. Saitama is very fast. But he takes on this challenge with a smile on his face. Going that yes, this shall prove that he has truly come a long way compared to before when he was throwing up so much that the trash cans were filled by the time they were leaving. And luckily, Izuku does very well, though he does end up getting hurt a lot. Not so much I thought that I would recognize it. They were collecting his strength data. He's trying to see, okay, how strong is this person? Good news is he is very strong. Bad news is we still have no complete idea how strong he can really become. Or, heck, is he just holding back because the other one right there? Hmm. Yeah. Totally irrelevant. So, as Saitama and Izuku get down to the fight, Izuku picks up on not only Saitama's movements, but also his habits when it comes to fighting. Even though it was at first hard to track his speed, Izuku has gotten much more tuned to it. As for someone as fast as Saitama, yeah, Izuku's gonna have some words with Ida about his max speed. But, at the end of the day, the whole fight between Master and Subordinate does come to the end. Only because, yeah, as well as he just, uh, Avoid inside of my really is trying his best not to kill Izuku. Which, of course, is easier said than done, considering that this fight is much more tense than they both previously considered it to be. Okay, for Izuku, there is mercy. Though he does end up getting his ass whooped. Saitama does give him some more wisdom because of trying to live a more comfy life. He says, yeah, I'm already strong as hell. Yes, you are. But, hmm, how can I really bring this point home? Eh, let's just say, Sooner or later, 
you'll truly be bored from fighting weaklings and when that day comes and it will you must have already noticed the sheer nonsense when it comes to this power but anyway come invite me once you're truly bored you can always use a good old sparring partner you mean a punching bag Shayo potato <laughs> please if anything I think only God could truly challenge me. Why are you just tempting fate? Hmm? Never mind. Uh, uh, have a nice trip. Rest of Saitama. Hmm. What a sweet boy. Thank you, Yusuke. 